Rebuilding a Stuart Models Twin Launch Model Steam Engine, this is part 21, the final episode, the Steam Test. If you've been following this series, then you'll realise that I rebuilt this engine, which was in a real bad state, from a box of bits. It was completely unserviceable. The engine runs OK on compressed air, although the valves blow slightly and there are one or two other anomalies with the engine, mainly due to the engineering standard. But I've done my best with it. I had to make a new crankshaft because the crankshaft was a disaster area. So now it's time to see, after all that work, whether it runs OK. And very conveniently, on the bench I currently have this Stuart Models 3500 boiler that I've been working on. I've connected a new gas canister and lit the burner, so it's only a matter of time now before I get some steam. So I'm taking this opportunity to first of all fasten a steam line to the engine, and also lubricate the engine. I'm taking my time with this because I don't want to miss out any important parts of the engine that require lubrication. The small tank is a good feature on this engine. You put some oil in that, and slowly the oil from the tank runs down the capillary tubing and lubricates the main bearings. And I nearly lubricated a main bearing there, just by force of habit. But I didn't forget the eccentrics, and it's quite important not to forget the expansion link and all the parts around that area. I've had a Stuart twin launch engine myself, and I found it to be very, very greedy as far as steam supply was concerned. I used a centreflue boiler, which was 5 inches in diameter, and even that struggled to supply enough steam for the thirst of a twin launch engine. On this engine, the cylinders are both 1 inch bore, and they're both double acting, so that's really like a 4 cylinder engine, which is going to need a lot of steam to make it function properly, so I would never put a boiler this size in an installation using the Stuart Models twin launch engine, but it's okay for testing the engine. Here I'm turning the engine by hand to clear the initial condensate, and then off it goes. And that's about it from me, I'm not going to talk all over this demonstration, I'll just let you watch what happens. This twin launch is not the best one I've ever seen, and it's not the worst. I hope the owner of the engine is satisfied with it, because believe me, this is the best I can do with it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.